Hi, Collective. Happy Sunday. How you doing? Aisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge, huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And um, if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, um... My apologies for the lateness of this reading. This was supposed to be Finance and Career Fridays, right? It had a nice ring to it, but Mercury Retrograde has been kicking my ass. <laughs> Collective, like, real talk, okay? I tried uploading a video uh, yesterday. It, that was not happening. I tried uploading a video the day before yesterday. That was not happening. I'm getting all these glitches. It was just like, okay, cool. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it fine. So I'm doing it today. <laughs> we will see how long it takes to actually upload, but I'm doing this today, okay? So let's see what our messages spirit has for you in terms of your finances. I'm also going to take this over and extend it to find out um, what advice and guidance spirit has for you to do to correct anything or to bring some kind of finances in or to just make your money better, okay? To help you focus on your money in a way that's for your highest good, okay? I'm going to get to what it is that you truly desire. That's going to help you, okay? So that will be in the extended. So right now, Spare, what's going on with Collective Finances? What's going on with Collective Finances? Thank you. What messages do you have for Collective in terms of their finance or their career? Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, okay. So you have the justice in reverse. You have three of wands and you have nine of swords. Some of you, when it comes to your money, you may feel like something's not fair right now. Um, someone could have done something to you that wasn't fair, okay? Um, some of you could be worried about some kind of justice system in terms of money. This could be like, are you going to get your money? Like if you're going for child support, alimony, whatever it is, are you going to get your money? Some of you, someone is suing someone. I'm hearing claims like small claims court and you're worried about if you're going to get your money or they're trying to shice you. They're trying to like not give it to you or make excuses for and you could be worrying about if you're going to be able to move. Some of you could be waiting for money to move. Mm -hmm. OK, we will clarify. Please clarify justice in reverse. Please clarify justice in reverse. Thank you. So you got nine of coins in reverse. Clarifying justice in reverse. Nine of coins in reverse. The Hierophant and Three of Cups. Some of you, this may do with coworkers not treating you fairly. Someone may be trying to sabotage you at work or sabotage your work mm -hmm. but there's something about not being treated fairly or being blamed for other people's shortcomings or mistakes spirit some of you you could be dealing with a situation where someone wants to see you like not be able to take care of yourself okay they want to see you not this is somebody who doesn't want you to be in a relationship where you're getting support or you're getting help okay or be around people that are helping you mm -hmm. some of you you may be dealing with uh some people who they're supposed to have your back but really they don't there was some kind of unfair treatment here some of you may have left a job or you're thinking about leaving a job Mm -hmm. I just heard I can go somewhere else. I can do something else. Mm -hmm. As some of you were really committed to a job or a career or some kind of field here and, and you feel like you're not getting justice or someone could be trying to sabotage you. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, you are going to be witness to somebody who, this is bad karma, okay? Some of you, you're going to see or hear through the grapevine that somebody 
could end up in jail or someone is going to get suffer some type of dire consequences because of some kind of bad business dealings that they did mm -hmm. that is going to leave them with nothing okay they're not going to be able to take care of themselves the same way how they didn't want you to be able to take care of yourself someone could end up getting fired okay but it's uh they could end up getting fired and getting charged for something right they're gonna be in trouble with this mm -hmm. because somebody was committed to they, they thought they could have thought they were never gonna get caught yeah Now someone is thinking about leaving or traveling for work. Some of you could be thinking about traveling for work or going somewhere else. But Spirit is saying something needs to be shaken up. Okay, you could be feeling bored, but you are um, expanding your territory, expanding your horizons while you're thinking about doing that. Some of you could be thinking about traveling overseas or going globally. Um, and that's just like maybe going online. You're starting an online business. Spirit, please clarify three of wands. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been thinking about that. Maybe starting an aside hustle. That's the online. You know, I'm hearing Shopify. Yeah. Spirit wants you to know that your finances are going to... I keep hearing take the offer. If you've been offered a job overseas or somewhere else, Spirit said take the offer. Because mm -hmm. you're thinking about it. So I'm getting two things here. For some of you, Spirit is saying take the offer, go somewhere else, do something else. Okay, go expand your territory. Go plant seeds somewhere else and wait for your ships to come in. For some of you, Spirit saying don't take this offer. Mm-hmm. Right? Because it's not going to work in your favor. You know. Use your discernment. Because some of you, you're going to find that someone is trying to be slick with you. Okay? They could be trying to scam you. This also, with this Nine of Swords, this talks about... Um, uh, no, not with the Nine of Swords. Sorry. With the Justice in Reverse, this talks about going into business with people that are kind of shysty. Okay? Or someone coming to you with some kind of business deal or business opportunity that you shouldn't trust that person because they th this is like a friend or a family member who you is known to like scam people, but they want to come to you and make it seem like they wouldn't do that to you or you can invest in them and you or invest with them and you can trust them. So it's like, listen, man, <laughs> okay. Pick sense from nonsense. When people show you who they are, believe them. Don't think that you're special with this person. Okay. They're not going to scam everybody else and not try to scam you. They're out for money, okay? They don't care who you are. Spirit said, don't take the offer. It's going to be a bad decision. Mm -hmm. Move away from this person. Move away from this idea. Think of something else. Something else will come up. Spirit, please clarify nine of swords. And for some of you, you could be worrying about some kind of money with a, a father figure. This could be your children's father. This could be your father. But this is somebody who is um, trying to control a situation here. Uh huh. They, they're very worried about finance. Somebody may be going to jail here or somebody knows that they're going to get a very bad outcome when it comes to the justice system. This could be someone that owes you money. They know <laughs> shit's not going to go in their favor. They, they're well aware of that. This is someone who is staying up at night. They're losing sleep. They're having nightmares about it. They're miserable. Yes. Oh boy, someone's stressed, stressed about a situation here because they tried to control you. They tried to manipulate you. Someone could have been very petty. This is somebody who, if you don't do what they say, they're not going to give you money for the kids. Together or not together, right? And it's like they're trying to manipulate you with their finances, but someone... The justice system is going to see what someone's trying to do to you collective, and it's just not going to fly. Mm -mm, it's not going to fly. This person could be thinking about um, leaving. Yeah, someone could be thinking about skipping town because they don't want to deal with the consequences of the kind of fuck shit that they were on with you when it comes to giving you what's owed, what's rightfully owed to you. Mm-hmm. 
This person's, they're scared and they're stressed. Spirit, please clarify. Spirit, please clarify Four of Cups. What's this Four of Cups about? Yeah. Somebody's very upset, collective, because they can't heal things with you. This is someone who could have thought that um, they could have manipulated you in some way. When it comes to your finances or your money, they could have manipulated you. And uh, But this is like uh, trying to control you or trying to control... I'm hearing control the purse strings. So like I said, if they want you to do something, they'll hold back or... Someone was trying to hold money from you, but they were trying to use money to control you and that did not work. Now you've rejected this person and they see that you don't want to heal anything. They're worried that they will never be able to heal something with you. Mm -hmm. This is also someone that sees that you are very stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're still handling your business regardless if they gave you money or not. Mm-hmm. But they're worried that things are going to, for some of you too, Spirit is saying, this is you. Like this is, you're a lot more stable than you think you are. You could be uh, making things worse than they seem, okay? Because a lot of you, you show up really stable here with your finances. You could feel like you don't have control over your money or you're losing control or things are not going the way you want. But Spirit's like, things are a lot better than you think, Okay. You can still pay your bills. You're still able to take care of things. You're still handling your business. You're doing great. For some of you spirits saying, don't give up hope. If you are in a court situation with somebody and they owe you money, spirits said, do not give up hope. Okay. Do not lose faith. Justice is going to go in your favor. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, it is. Look at this with the Hierophant here. You're going to be celebrating. Yes, you are. Okay. You're going to be celebrating with your friends after this court date. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a final court date for somebody. You're going to be doing really well. Spirit, please clarify this. Um, Or you're going to be happy with the outcome. Please clarify nine uh, pentacles in reverse. Please clarify nine of pentacles in reverse. Yes. And somebody, on the other hand, <laughs> is going to be very upset. Let me show you this if you don't believe me. Someone's going to be very upset here. Yeah. Once this verdict comes, yeah. They may not be able to take care of themselves after this, okay? But this is what goes around, comes around because some of you were dealing with someone who wanted to see you on your face, struggling, suffering. They wanted you to not have anything. They wanted you to not be able to take care of yourself so that you would come back and beg them, stay with me, I need help with the bills or I need help with the kids. No, that didn't happen. And that's not happening, Spirit said, so get that out of your mind. Mm-hmm. Spirit is coming through for you, collective, okay? They're coming through for you. Some of you, you're going to hear some good news. You may hear, oh, for some of you, you may hear that somebody, something that has to do with the justice system. Up. Someone's going to be very upset, yeah? And I mean like crocodile tears, <laughs> okay? drinking going just just all over the place someone's gonna be all over the place with us uh something that happens in the justice system this could be someone who finds out that they're getting sentenced and then that they have four days or they have a week to get their house in order they're gonna be a mess right for those four days they're gonna be a whole mess mm -hmm. or someone that finds out that they they need to come up with your money <laughs> okay i'm hearing a rihanna bitch better have my money Hmm. Y'all don't know me well enough. What? Someone thought that you were bluffing and they could call your bluff and found out that you don't bluff. <laughs> Please don't call me on my bluff. What? 
Someone find, found out that you're not the one. Mm -mm. Especially when it comes to your stability and your security. For someone in this collective, you could be a single parent here. You don't play when it comes to your children. You don't let people um, try to fuck around with your security and your stability, your children's security and stability. It's a whole other ball game. They entered a whole other arena with you when they try to fuck around with stuff like that. It's like you, okay, you have high tolerance for stuff. But if someone tries to put you in a position where your kids don't have a roof over their head or have food in their stomach or they're not being taken care of the way how they're supposed to be taken care of, the gloves come off, <laughs> okay? This is one of those real hood fights where you put your hair up, you take your earrings off, you roll up your sweatpants. Yeah, that's what's up. Those parking lot fights, okay? Someone made you get into parking lot fight mode because they thought they were going to fuck with your kid's stability. That was not a good idea for them. They going to be crying. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. The thing is, someone tried to uh, use you. Okay, they could have tried to use you for your finances or someone wanted a lot without really putting in any work, okay? So for some of you, you're dealing with somebody who wanted you to pay, to pay all the bills or take care of them or take care of their responsibilities, their finances, and it was just like, no, you got other things that you need to do. You're, we're all adults here. Everybody has to carry their own weight. Spirit, please clarify the higher fit. Because some of you, you were in um, a relationship with someone. You could have been married to this person. But this is somebody who was lazy. They wanted to sit on their ass and cock up their feet and not do anything, okay? And thought that you were supposed to take care of everything. Wow, Spirit. This is a, this is a different career in finance reading. Spirit, please clarify the Hierophant. Yeah? Wow. 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 I told you. Okay, so this is the two sides of a coin. On one side, someone's going to be crying and they're not going to be able to take care of themselves after some verdict here. You are going to get success if you are worried about some kind of court case, okay, about getting your money. Someone, the court system's going to tell someone, bitch, you better have collectives money, okay? Yes, it is going to go in your favor. The justice system, the judge, whatever, the jury, they're also going to see, it's like, I don't know what kind of evidence you produced or what kind of evidence was produced, but they're going to have a lot of respect for the way how you manage your shit and carry yourself because someone tried to make it seem like you were either a bad parent or you weren't handling your business, but someone is going to see the game that someone tried to play, okay? They're going to see how someone fully tried to scam you, okay? And how they tried to fuck with your stability and it's not going to look good on them, mm-hmm. Wow. Spirit, please clarify three of cups. Someone, the, the justice system is going to see right through something that someone tried to do to mess up your finances mm -hmm. or even your career. I'm hearing like a panel. Um, if you have taken something, okay, so this is instead of, for those of you, this is a work situation. Someone could have been, this could have been um, a supervisor or a boss that was trying to sabotage you for whatever reason, okay? For some of you, I heard that this person liked you and they rejected you. Mm -hmm. I mean, sorry, you rejected them and they didn't like that. So they've been trying to sabotage you, okay? Or do things or blame you for other people's um, mistakes that other people are doing. Spirit said, be wise. Don't go and parking lot pimping deal with the <laughs> deal with the situation that way, okay? Don't get all ratchet on someone. Spirit said respond. Don't react because for some of you, you had someone who was trying to get a reaction out of you so they have an excuse to fire you. Whoever I'm speaking to, you did. You absolutely responded because you smart smart. <laughs> yes, you are. You used your intelligence that God gave you. Okay? You used your wisdom. You went to like HR or something or spirits advising you to go to like HR because they're going to see, and whoever you're going to, they have a lot of respect for you, okay? They see that you work hard. You actually, um, you show these people, like, you're you're in it to win it. Like, you're, you're dedicated to the company. And for some of you, they don't want to lose you. They would rather lose the supervisor or the manager than lose you, okay? So you don't need to worry about it. It's the way, they also have a lot of respect for the way how you handle the situation, okay? Like I said, you didn't get all ratchet and try to cuss off people in the workplace or be malicious and send emails all over the place and try to scandal anyone. No, you didn't do that, okay? You wrote a letter to um, HR and you explained the situation. Some of you, you had your evidence and they were like, oh, mm -hmm. oh, that's what's going on here. 
okay? They are going to help you to resolve something in a very peaceful way. Yeah, yeah. Because someone was trying to sabotage you, but it's not going to work. You're going to be celebrating. For some of you, you're going to have, um, I'm hearing unbeknownst to you. So this could be like um, they do an investigation, internal investigation or quiet investigation. And they go and speak to other people that know you to see like, is this true? Did this happen? What do you think about this? And you have people that are going to vouch for you, support you. They're going to let um, this, whatever hierarchy, this, whatever, okay? Um, I'm hearing panel, like an internal affairs panel. They're going to let them know that this person's been trying to fuck with you, right? They may even produce other evidence too that other people have. Someone is going to show someone a video of some kind of uh, altercation. Somebody secretly recorded a manager trying to do some shit to you or say something to you. Right or do something shady, and they're gonna show it to these people, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, that's what they think is going on here, huh? Oh, they think that they can abuse their power and treat people the way any way they want because of their title? No, this person may end up getting fired, and I'm when I say fired, I mean like they're gonna have a hard time taking care. They may end up getting evicted. Mm -hmm. But it's also going to um, spirit said spur on. A further investigation so this may be someone who was doing something shady and then your investigation leads to something deeper it's a rabbit hole i'm hearing right this someone is going to be a whole mess here because whatever they were hiding or whatever they were doing it's going to be exposed mm -hmm. someone is going to be very insecure okay and for some of you this person kept coming for you and wanting you they're a very insecure person and you either, um, I'm hearing rebuffing or refusing someone's advances. They really didn't like that. They really wanted to, this is someone who wanted you to feel like if you didn't do what they said, they could hold this, um, I'm hearing card over your head. Like, well, I, I can fire you, right? Like, you know, or if you needed hours, they would cut your hours. If you needed extra shifts, they would cut your shifts, you know, like they had power over you. Who, HR, whoever, they're going to see what the fuck's going on and it's not going to go in this person's favor. Mm -hmm. They shouldn't have did that. Yeah. But it's going to be handled uh, very peacefully too and quietly. Yes. But you're going to be happy with the result. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Somebody who is very immature is worried about... <laughs> look at this <laughs> this, just, this just flipped over okay ten of coins yeah someone's worried about your money mm -hmm. what you're going to be building yep yeah. yes they are the foundation that you're going to be building mm -hmm. oh, wow Spirit, can I get one more can I get one more Someone is also worried about the career that you're in or, yes, who you're working with. Somebody sees that you are working and you are building something very, very solid for yourself. I mean, like legacy. I mean, like being able to leave inheritance for your children, pass things down to generations, building a stable, solid business that can take care of you for the rest of your life, right? Money. Look at this. This is 13 coins here. That's goddess energy, mm -hmm. being divinely guided and listening. Some of you, you're working with specific goddesses here. They're showing you what to do, how to do it, when to do it. Mm -hmm. And they're bringing the right people to work with. Yes, somebody is worried about that. Yes, they are. Like they lose in sleep because they see that the people that you are connecting with now, things are growing with them and they don't like that. Yeah, this is someone who feels rejected now because you don't want to heal anything with them. They are also super salty because you're very stable without somebody, mm -hmm. regardless of what they try to do. Yes. Now, this is somebody who may try to get you to stay. Mm -hmm. They may try to resolve things with you. Spirit, please clarify four of cups and um, four of cups and uh, the star. Yes. You don't want this person anymore because of what they did. This is someone who's not in alignment. They're not in alignment with their path either. So it's like they try to throw you off of yours. Mm -hmm. 
Wow. Okay, Spirit, any more messages in regards to career and finance? And then I'm going to take this over to an extended because there is someone you're thinking about moving away. Okay, so Spirit said to let you know in the extended uh, what's going to happen when you move away, okay? For those of you that you're supposed to be moving away, what's going to happen? Or for those of you that um, you're supposed to be expanding your business or shaking things up, uh, in the extended, you'll find out how that's going to go. Okay, just give you a heads up. For some of you, uh, Spirit wants you to know what to do in terms of managing your finances. If there is some kind of big goal you want, like... Um, this could be, I'm hearing like a big purchase. You could be wanting to purchase a home, okay? Or just general advice on how to manage your finances better so that you get what it is that you want. Meet me over in the extended, okay? And for those of you that are just a little bit curious to see what happens to this energy after the verdict, Okay, join me over in the extended. I'll see you soon, okay? For those of you that are like, Keish, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Much love. Right back at you, baby. Okay, I'll see you in the next video and I'll check you on the flip side. Bye.